This really could be the most random video you've ever seen on YouTube, but it also could be the video that changes your life. When I got the idea to talk about these things, I was like, this might just be the weirdest thing ever, so maybe I should just not do it. But the thing is, in life, with anything, if we don't give it a try, we don't know. If I had told myself, you can never get abs, I probably wouldn't even have given it a try. Or if I had said to myself, nobody's gonna wanna listen to your fitness advice, I'd probably never have shared anything and I wouldn't have been where I am today. It's like that with anything. Whatever we wanna grow, if we don't give it a try, we won't know. So we'll see how this video turns out. This is a free country. You can think whatever you want to think. I think whether you're trying to get abs or you're trying to grow a following or whatever it is that you're trying to do in life, it comes down to the same principle. And so I thought that I wanted to share the things that I've learned with you on my fitness journey, but also on my like growing my following journey. And I was just talking about this on my story. This really isn't about me. So many people on social media have inspired me to grow every single day, push myself past what I think is comfortable, changed my belief, challenged me in ways that I wouldn't have if they hadn't put those questions in front of me or shared with me their journey, shared with me their struggles, shared with me how they've grown and how they've developed throughout their journey. And so that's really my mission with YouTube, with Instagram, with growing my social media and also growing within my body that it's not about me, but if I grow and I share my journey, then I can hopefully impact someone else who because of their growth will impact someone else. And then it becomes this domino effect, right? So if we all open up and we share our struggles, we share, we're vulnerable, we share everything that we experience in life, the more it's this good domino effect. And we use social media as a thing where we help each other grow and we just spread more positivity and awareness in this world. And that's been my mission. And so I think that's my mission with this video as well. We'll see, we'll see if it, if it, if it works out. <laughs> I was at the gym today. I wrote a couple of notes because I was like, we gotta find a way to make this video make just a little bit of sense. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna check those out because I already lost what I was trying to say. Okay, let's get into this. So I think with social media, if you wanna grow your following, if you wanna get abs, you gotta focus on serving. So let me explain if I can, I'll try my best. But let's just take a little break here to hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what is your goal? What is your goal for the next three months, year, five years, 10 years, whatever it is, what is your goal? And maybe writing it down will help you out. I think they say that writing down your goal every day, there's like a 60 or 40% bigger chance that you're gonna make it happen. So write it down below. If you wanna gain abs, you gotta serve your abs. You gotta know what do your abs need to grow to get visible, whatever your goal is with your abs. Figure out what is your clear goal. You make a plan, how do I achieve this goal, if that is abs, for example. Specific nutrition, and you may not know from the beginning when you start exactly what that is, but as you go, you pay attention to what is working, what isn't working. You set a plan for yourself on how do I get there and then you stay consistent because consistency obviously is key with everything in life. We look at someone with abs and we're like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I wanna do that, I wanna have that. But what we don't see is all of that work it takes every single day. So it's like the consistency of sticking to that plan. And I think that's the struggle with anything, whether we're trying to grow a business, abs, social media, it's that consistency where it looks so fancy on the outside, but the work it actually takes to get there is when we get discouraged, when we're like, oh no, it looks so fun on their side. So I just, I just want the good part of it, but that's not, that's not how you get anything in life. What we see for YouTube, for example, is like people living their life, traveling the world or whatever it is that that person is doing on YouTube. It looks so fancy and so, but what YouTubers share is that what reality looks like is 20 hours of editing per video or literally like the planning, the shooting, the editing, the actual like part of where you shoot the video and have that experience is maybe five to 10% of what goes into that entire video. And it's the same with abs. It looks super cool, but it's the hard work that will get you there. And it's the same with social media. Set a clear goal on what is it you want? What is your intention? You make a plan on how to get there. And I think that the best way, just like serving your abs with the right nutrition, with the right workout routine, making that plan consistently, it's the same with your audience, figuring out how can I serve these people who are here with me on this journey? How can I serve them? How can I make their life better? And again, you may not know what that looks like, right as you start, but that's something you'll learn on the journey. You'll have to adjust the plan as you go and figure it out as you go, just like with anything else, right? When we start a business, it's like, I have this idea, I don't really know how to get there, but then it's like taking those small steps at a time. And the only thing that we can do is 
set a goal, make the best possible plan, gain the knowledge that we need, and then serve. The same again with growing a following, you have to be consistent. Consistence for me with growing my following has been the person that follows me, how do I want them to feel? How do I want to impact their life? What can I do today to serve them? And every single day, even when I just felt the most discouraged, maybe busy with other work, making the time for that hour that it'll take for me to create something that can impact whoever is following me every single day and it's again it looks so awesome someone who has a lot of followers but we forget all the work that it has taken them and the consistency of every single day showing up for their community their following so it's the same thing it's setting the goal making a plan learning as you go how can i serve how can i grow and develop and get better and being consistent every single day i think when we have a goal we think, okay, once I reach that goal, I'll be happy. Once I get the financial freedom, once I reach 100,000 followers, once I have abs, I'll be happy. But I can give you an example from yesterday. I had received a message from a girl who had used my program and she said, she was sharing with me how it's changed her inside, how she feels about herself. And I'm getting shivers as I'm saying that. Um, it's changed her feeling within herself. She's learning to like and love herself and liking herself in her own skin and feeling stronger and stronger. And when I receive that message and when I receive messages like that, it just makes me feel so happy and so good within. Like that really just fulfills me. It feels like on, on a deep, deep level. 10 minutes later is when I see that I reached 100,000 followers and and the joy of that goal that I'd had for years of reaching 100,000 followers didn't even give me the slightest bit as much happiness as this girl whose life I had had an impact on. And so I think it's like that with anything. It's not the goal, it's not getting abs, it's not getting 100,000 followers, it's not reaching that goal in our business. Yes, that of course that'll make us happy, but it's really, this is so, this is so, silly because we all know this but I just it's it, this example is just so clear to me that it's so true that it's not the goal it's the freaking impact and the journey and the people that we can help and grow together with on the journey to reaching that goal so it's not like when you wake up with apps you're just gonna be happy no it's not like when you wake up and you have a million dollars in the bank you're just naturally gonna be happy no it's the journey getting there growing because like Tony Robbins says I think I've said this in like 10 videos now growth equals happiness but it's because i can so so relate to that i feel at my best when i'm growing when i'm seeing progress when i'm pushing myself like when i'm doing things that make me feel proud of myself and so what was i trying to say what fulfills me is the impact that i leave on people on the journey it's not reaching 100,000 followers reaching abs it's like the things that we learn but i do think it's important to set those goals because without setting those really challenging goals we won't push ourselves out of our comfort zone to realize these other things about ourselves to make an impact to open our, our eyes to what we're capable of so i just think it's important to enjoy the journey letting go of fears letting go of limiting beliefs and that's an obvious one because if i thought i can never get abs i would never give it a shot if i thought nobody is gonna want to get fitness or life advice life advice from me i would never share anything i would always just hold myself back i would be too afraid to try and nothing would happen i would kind of stay stagnant or if i wouldn't make this video maybe one person is learning something from this video but if i would stopped myself because i was like that's too silly that's such a weird video to film then i would have uh, never impacted that one person and and so it's really like letting go of me thinking that all the people back home from my home country are going to judge me if I start posting uh, fitness videos and then if I start giving life coaching advice or they're going to judge me for this and that and that if I had let that stop me and that's things that I'm still working on we're always wanting to be loved by the people surrounding us I really feel like I'm growing within that and learning to let go of those fears as I teach myself to get uncomfortable every day it helps me get rid of those fears so I think that that's why I'm so into like getting comfortable getting in shape and why getting in shape will change your life because when we get uncomfortable the things that used to scare us are suddenly not as scary anymore and that will help us push us towards doing those scary things which will just open a new world to us because we will slowly let go of that fear and it'll all like it'll all 
just seen easier, I guess. We just won't let that stop us. And the more we do things that are scary, the more things we're willing to do that are scary. And then it's just like this domino effect of like turning into a badass. <laughs> if someone else has been able to do it, why wouldn't you be able to do it? Hi. Hey, I saved you a little bit of eggs. You did? Thank you, wait, can I have them now? So yesterday, Brock gave me these cutest, cutest balloons and I got so happy, I'll insert the video here. And now he saved me eggs. We're really, truly celebrating. Thanks. Is it just me or it's eggs? Just always gonna be a winner. Totally live off of eggs. But also the cheesecake. Yes. Guys, check out the cheesecake. Can't mess up the cheesecake, okay can't miss the cheesecake. Whatever it is that we want in life, setting a goal, making a plan, being consistent, knowing that it's gonna take hard work. Are you willing to put in that hard work and be real with yourself? Maybe you want abs, but you're not actually willing to put in the work. You do have to make challenging choices every single day if you want to consistently have abs, or if you wanna be financially wealthy, or you wanna grow a following so that you can make a bigger impact in the world. Being real with yourself, are you willing to put in that work? And if you are, every single day, ask yourself, what is one thing that I can do today that will make me feel proud of myself today and if you are completely honest with yourself I think that every single day you're gonna move one little step closer to achieving that goal that's what I want for you by you growing you inspire others to grow as well and that's how we leave an amazing impact and I think everybody has something to share we're all going through life we're all learning lessons we're all learning as we go trying our best and the more that we share of that the more we grow the more we inspire the people that are around us and that's just how I think the world becomes a better place deep down that is what life is about. But with that, also, I think that we get the most fulfilled when we do the thing that makes us proud of ourselves, when we do that thing that we deep down want. And so, whatever that is for you, whether that is getting abs, 100,000 followers, getting some financial wealth so that you can support your family, support charities, whatever that is for you, or building a business, go for it. What the heck can happen if you do it? Maybe this video was a random ass video and you were like, yes, this was the randomest video I've ever seen on YouTube. So you just messed up 10 minutes of my life. Maybe that's what you're thinking. But maybe someone else was like, hmm, maybe I should go out and I should do that one thing that I've tried to do so long. So right now I'm gonna set a goal, make a plan, stay consistent, ask myself, what can I do to make myself proud of myself? How can I serve? How can I continue to grow and change my beliefs so that I truly just go for it? And if you were just here to figure out how do I get abs, I have a bunch of videos on that. And so you can check those out, what I actually did to get abs. And I'm so grateful that you watched this video. I'm really grateful for every single one of you. And I am grateful that we can grow and learn together. This is about how we can impact and make a change in this world. And so I just hope that you go out and have a beautiful day. Please hit me with a thumbs up if you like this video hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'm pretty sure you've heard all of these tips before, but I have to hear things, maybe sometimes a thousand times, for me to actually take action on it. For me, the more I hear things, the more I'm able to understand it on a deeper level and act on it in a maybe wiser way.